We are still solving quadratic equations by using the ABC formula, yeah? However, I'm gonna show all my working so I cannot overly rely on my calculator, but I'll show you in this video how you can press it in your calculator just to check your answer, yeah? But that's only to check your answer because first I'm gonna write it down, then my calculator will tell me if I'm right or wrong, yeah? Correct two decimal places already suggests that you can't factorize it, yeah? can you? All right, now, um, in general, yeah, what is the strategy for quadratic equations? That is to equal it to zero. Yeah, I've shown you all the way at the beginning of this playlist that quadratic equations you always have to equal to zero and put them in the correct order. X squared, X, and then your number, your constant, equals zero. Now, usually that is already done for you, but sometimes, like in this case, it hasn't, and you, then you just have to do it yourself. Okay, ABC formula tells me that in general AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. So I have to identify the values of A, B, and C. A, one, B, minus two, careful, in a minute. C, minus one, that's why I had to order it. C is not one, C is minus one. Okay, let me put some nice brackets there. Okay, there we go. And using that information now, I am going to solve it. Uh, I'm gonna write down the formula, and you know it by heart now, hopefully. So x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and all of that divided by 2a. All right, and I'm just gonna substitute these values now into that formula, okay? That's, those are my workings. Now, but now I said already be careful, my b is negative. Minus b therefore becomes minus, minus two. Yeah, so that's a positive two, yeah, careful. But there's another moment you gotta be careful, plus or minus, the square root. b squared minus two squared, yeah, put that in brackets, yeah, because if you put it in your calculator, if you press in your calculator minus two squared, you're actually telling your calculator, because of bit mass, you're telling him what is two squared times minus one, yeah? And your calculator's gonna say, oh, but that is minus four. Yes, that is minus four. But you don't want to know what two squared times minus one is. You want to know what minus two times minus two is, and that is four, all right? So put those brackets there. All right, minus four times A times C. And all of that divided by two times a, two times one. All right, x equals, that is two then m minus minus two plus or minus, I hope you can still follow me, it's getting a little bit messy, sorry. Uh, you can do this in your calculator if you want to. Uh, that is gonna be four plus four, so it's gonna be eight, and all of that divided by two. So I'm gonna get two answers, I'm gonna write them down here. Now I need my calculator, by the way, square, square root of eight, Where's my calculator, guys? Square root of eight, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit less than three, yeah, but I want to know exactly. So I'm gonna do two plus, I always do the plus first, the square root of eight equals, and then I'll divide that answer by two equals. You see how relaxed you can treat your calculator, yeah? And if you round that to two decimal places, because that's what the initial question told me, I'm gonna get x equals 2.41, okay? And then my other solution is going to be, and I take my calculator again, to minus the square root of eight equals, so there's no reason to be scared of your calculator, divided by that answer by two equals, and that's gonna give me to two decimal places, an answer of minus 0.41. All right, there we go. Um, so that, that is the answer. Now I promised you to show you how to do this in the calculator, but I'm gonna do that in the next video, otherwise it's gonna become a very long video, okay? So the next video, I'm gonna show you how you get this by simply pressing some buttons on your calculator. I'll see you there.